Hey guys, so I think this is going to be my shortest favorite video yet, and I don't know why, it's just probably because I forgot about one of my last month's favorites, so I did a late October slash mid-November favorites, and that was kind of like recently products though that I've been loving for this entire month of November after that favorites video. So a couple of them are new, and then a couple of them I've just been loving, so. Um, and one of them isn't really a product, it's like a thing, a system. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, and system. What does that even mean? That doesn't make any sense. Forget I said that. The first thing I've been loving is this Carez anti-aging primer, and it is the Quercetin and Oak Face Primer, and I love this stuff. Um, it is it's sold just for it. It is a little pricey. I think it's about $33, and I just kind of got sick and tired of my hard candy one. I am all for trying out different face primers. I actually have been trying out the L'Oreal Magic perfecting base and I don't know I'm not really that crazy about this it's very sticky and now I got a small trial one at Walgreens just because I wasn't going to purchase the $15 one in the drugstore so um I got this I saw this for six dollars I don't really know how you feel I feel about it because it feels a little sticky but this stuff is just amazing because it's so refreshing and I really have seen a difference in my skin um and I always want to take care of my skin so I feel like anti-aging products are amazing and the ingredients in here are all natural I love the brand Carez so um it actually looks like a moisturizer it comes out like that I don't want to waste it but it has like this weird smell like oranges or something but it's not bad I actually really like it and it feels so cooling and refreshing on your face so this has been one of my favorites of the month I've been wearing this every single day Something I've been liking is also skincare and it is by Olay is it Olay? Ole Henriksen? Olay Henriksen? It is the African Red Tea Anti-Aging Line. Yeah, I'm only 22, but I do believe in anti-aging products because I feel like that will just make your skin look amazing. This girl I work with is 41. I swear she looks about 21. And she just tells me about all these products that she's been using, and she just said she started anti-aging products at um, a younger age. So I definitely believe in spending money to take care of your skin. I think it's well worth the investment. So, um... This I bought at Sephora. This is, I believe, $68. Don't quote me on that. But the reason I got this is because I saw... You know what? I'm going to do a review on this. That's how much I love this stuff. So uh, it comes in this starter kit with... Um, what does it come with? I'll just read you what it comes with. The foaming cleanser, um, a f t uh, mist, a uh, perfecting mask, Express the Truth cream, which is like the night cream. This is my main thing that I love. The eye cream and a sugar glow face rub. Um, I am obsessed with every single one of these products. The reason I got this is because of this uh, face cream, which is my all-time favorite of the month. I have seen a drastic change in my skin. It looks amazing. My fine lines are kind of just um, lessened and my are minimized my pores are minimized and I just wake up feeling refreshed and healthy and sometimes I honestly look in the mirror and I'm like oh my gosh do I have makeup on this is how amazing this whole product line is but I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to save this for review because I need to tell you guys about this I purchased it with my own money I'm not sponsored this is amazing and it's well worth. this is about $65 itself and the whole kit is 68 so this main one alone is bigger but whatever it's still I decided to try out the whole line because I'm obsessed with this African red tea I, it's amazing for my skin and if you have any sort of issues with skin and you're trying to figure out like new skincare and you are willing to try new things I definitely give this a try because this stuff is like almost like a lifesaver and it smells delicious oh my I've seen this all over YouTube recently it is a new eyelash adhesive glue and this is by kiss and it is odor free like just free water I love this stuff and my duo lash adhesive I don't know if everyone knows like a lot of people have mentioned this it smells like a freaking huge fish and I hate it and it's disgusting and I want to throw up every time I put it on but it does work well this stuff is even even works better um it comes in this little like I don't know it looks like a lip gloss like half of a lip gloss tube applicator and I really really like it and you just put it on the lash like this and it stays on all day I have not had to reapply it a lot of times the duo lash adhesive it would just be black and like oh and I'd have to um like reapply on a q-tip like in the middle corners this stuff makes my lashes stay on forever this is just amazing and it's about four dollars at once definitely pick it up because I'm pretty sure you like it this is my favorite eyelash glue. okay next thing are two lipsticks and this one is actually the red I've been I was wearing in a lot of my past videos that a ton of people were complimenting me on this and it actually is a drugstore brand I actually got this for like 49 cents in Rite Aid when Wet n Wild was on sale. It is by Wet n Wild and it is in the color, I hate when other lipsticks don't have names, but I love this lipstick. And it is in 901D and it is just this really, really pretty 
red color and I wore it in a lot of my videos and everyone was complimenting me and saying it looks amazing so um, if you do want to be bold and try this out I highly recommend it I'm all for bright lipsticks as everyone knows so definitely recommend this it's a little messy ew my next favorite is another lipstick and it is what is on my lips right now and it is by MAC and it is Pink Nouveau Pink Nouveau Pink Novu. I don't know I don't know how to say it but um, it's just really pretty Barbie pink color looks like that and I just I can never get enough of MAC lipsticks like I am literally obsessed they smell heavenly I'll never stop buying MAC lipsticks and I feel like no other lipstick can compare I have a whole collection of lipsticks and I love don't get me wrong I love other brands but I mean I just I can't get enough of MAC like MAC lipsticks are my holy grail lipsticks okay and speaking of MAC lipsticks my next is back to MAC and I know a lot of people know about this but if maybe if you're watching this and you don't know about it this is for you. Um, basically what it is, is it's just this program that Max had for a long, long time. And basically you just take six items and it could be any classic items that you finished or if you don't like them or if you feel like you'll never use them or if you lost the receipt. They have to be six and you put them in a plastic bag and you take this to the Max store and you get a free lipstick, lip gloss, or um, eyeshadow, which I think is such an amazing deal because I'm not a Macaholic, like I don't only use Mac obviously, but I do love Mac and um, I think this is just such a great deal because a lot of my lipsticks have been like ruined and I have this whole thing about depotting, oh my gosh, um, maybe I'll make a video on it. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing how I like get so many products for back to Mac um, because this is like my third baggie and I'm going to take this tomorrow and I think I'm going to get another free lipstick. I think I'm going to get a Sheen Supreme this time. Um, anyway, so yeah, just literally, if you have any eyeshadows, just take out the eyeshadows. You can depop them. It works. And then you put them back here. So here I have four eyeshadows and two lipsticks. And these are lipsticks that I depotted, actually, because they were a mess. So I depotted them into something else. Okay, anyway, so back to MAC is definitely on my favorite. What are your favorite MAC lipsticks? Comment below and follow me on Twitter. You saw me tweet a picture of this, and it is the... Givenchy perfume in play and I just love saying it like that Givenchy is that how you say it Givenchy I sound French okay anyway so it looks like this and a lot of people commented or tweeted me back saying that they liked the packaging and they hadn't seen this packaging I had always seen this packaging the reason I got this is because I got the little sample size in one of my Sephora borders and I just loved it and I wear it every day and I was running low I was like oh my gosh I have to buy this this is one of like the best smelling perfumes ever and I was actually having a really bad day two days ago and I wore this and does that ever happen to you guys like perfume puts you in a really good mood I have no idea but when you're wearing it and you smell it it just put me in a better mood so again this is called play and it looks like this it looks like a little pink like iPod or something like that and I just think that the packaging is so adorable and the smell is just um Oh my god, I know a lot of people love this. So um, if you're looking for a new perfume, it just smells so good. This is one of my all-time favorites. So those are my favorites for the month of November. I feel like I said it would be a short video. This is still probably like 37 minutes long. So I'm going to go edit this right now so I'm not blabbing everyone's ears off. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.